परसेंटेज लाने से क्या होगा इज वॉट मोस्ट ऑफ यू थिंक जस्ट इमेजिन योर बोर्ड रिजल्ट इज आउट एंड योर फ्रेंड्स गॉट मोर देन यू योर फ्रेंड्स विल बी इंजॉइंग द फ्रूट ऑफ दियर अचीवमेंट मीन वाइल यूल बी वेरी सैड एंड डिसअपॉइंटेड बट स्टिल सम ऑफ यू माइट थिंक दैट वॉट इज द एडवांटेज ऑफ गेटिंग परसेंटेज इन बोर्ड फाइनली यू हैव द आंसर नाउ यू विल बी हैप्पी विद योर अचीवमेंट एंड दैट्स द मेन पर्पज ऑफ लाइफ भाई ये तो हो गई मोटिवेशनल स्पीच अब काम की बात पे आते हैं नाउ यू जस्ट रियलाइज यू आर लेफ्ट विद टू टू थ्री मंथ्स थिंग्स टू फॉलो एज योर बोर्ड्स गेट नियरर एंड नियरर नंबर वन नेवर अंडर एस्टिमेट इंग्लिश स्पेशली इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज वैसे टू बी ऑनेस्ट इन माई प्री बोर्ड इन साइक्लिक्स प्रेपोजिशन वो वेरी टफ लाइक रियली टफ आई वॉज रियली टेंस एट दैट मोमेंट बट वेन आई सॉ द प्रेपोजिशन विच केम इन क्लास टेंथ बोर्ड आई वॉज लाइक दे आर वेरी इजी बट स्टिल टू बी ऑन द सेफ अर साइड आई नॉट ओनली गिव यू टिप्स अबाउट इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज बट विल ऑल्सो प्रैक्टिस प्रेपोजिशन इन दिस वीडियो Okay first these are the prepositions you may take a screenshot of this but the prepositions which we are going to do next will be discussed over here There was a steep rise in onion prices air pollution is responsible for the spread of bronchitis he was under pressure to complete the work joan jumped into the river to rescue the child the next His teacher is very pleased with him. Ali took off his cap and wiped his face. The old woman could not get over the shock. He should not get away with such rudeness. He found the key just outside or near the front door. I could not accompany my cousin to the trip because I had fever. The noise prevented us from sleeping. The young man put the flute to his lips and began to play and so on. Now let's talk about notice. This is the format of notice. And let's talk about how to write an essay. I have already made this video. You can just search it on YouTube. I attempted the narrative essay just because our teacher told us that we'll get more marks in that but it's not always the case actually what happens is that if you're good at story writing then you should attempt story writing but if you're good at describing something then you may attempt the descriptive part but over there you have to uh, describe about all your senses as your boards are coming nearer it is important for you to practice questions i highly recommend the oswald books icsc class 10 sample questions paper the purpose of this book is not only making you practice questions but also have an idea about the question and the paper pattern over here i have mathematics and english language let me introduce the features about this book you can have a crisp revision with on tips note and mnemonics with the help of smart mind maps you'll be able to clear your concepts in no time This book provides you extensive practice with 200 plus MCQs and objective questions. It consists of the 2023 specimen paper analysis. This book also pays attention to those questions in which students often get stuck. In other words, it will make you realize your mistakes you did in pre-board papers and cyclic papers. You can have a look at these questions. The questions which came in my board paper were more or less same as that of the specimen papers. After you are done practicing the sample paper questions at the back of the sample paper or the particular sample paper you'll get the answers over there. And the best feature about this book are the mind maps of every chapter, be it the banking chapter, linear in equations, quadratic equations, ratio and proportion, factorization of polynomials, arithmetic progression, matrices etc. The next is ICSC 10 sample question papers English language here you will find many things like how to write an essay and email notice etc and i already told you about english language it's very difficult to score in that particular subject so for that if you want good marks in english language and make your percentage better then you will have to practice a lots of prepositions compositions and many more this book also provide the tips for how to write letters emails notice etc both the sample papers of class 10 for english language and mathematics have the unsolved sample paper hardly 2 to 3 months are left for your board examinations so at this point of time practice is a must so buy this book link is in the description box you may check it out now chemistry i have been getting a lot of comments on how to learn reactions in chemistry well my answer to that is quite simple you just have to first learn the balancing part because you don't get enough time to just solve the balancing part so just learn it by numbering method or you can also learn the balancing of either side like the reactant side or the product side i know in this page number you might be confused where to write nitrogen dioxide nitrogen oxide or hydrogen but you have to learn that sorry to say but you just have to learn 
Like in my first cyclic, I was getting way too less in chemistry as I was not able to remember the reactions but slowly and slowly I practiced and somehow I was able to remember all of these. These are the previous year questions of some of the chapters of chemistry. You can just take a screenshot and learn this table by heart. The credit goes to my chem teacher just because she taught us so well in online class and also in offline class she asked us many questions and that's why we came prepared. Give a test made by you. It might be awkward to hear this but you just have to first read some chapter and then note the important points in your notebook but the twist comes over here you have to leave a blank instead of writing down the keyword then when you are done with all the points you just have to write the answer and test yourself if you have made notes of any of the chapter you have to revise because you wrote down it for a purpose and that purpose was that two or three months before the boards you must have a source from where you can revise all the important points so take out some time to revise your notes which might be lying in a corner right now. For physics, I will be sharing with you some of the important questions. This is the numerical of sound, you must do it. The next one is the ninth question which is similar to the previous question. Over here you just have to make the diagram and then solve the question. It's very easy. Now let's talk about calorimetry. This has been the most irritating chapter I've ever come across. These are the questions. They may ask you the amount of heat required, temperature and so on. For temperature, you must learn one simple formula and that is 100 into T equals to MC delta T. And sometimes the question may come in different ways. You might be confused but it depends upon your practice. And you may make separate columns for hot body and cold body. And these are the pics. You may take screenshot. This question also came in my board examination. This is the question of current electricity and to calculate resistance you might be knowing the formulas for parallel and series it's totally different. Hardly 10 minutes were left for the examination to start when I told my friend that this question will be coming and this really did come. I was like what? These are the numericals of parallel and series circuit. We must know how to identify the parallel plus series circuit. Now let's talk about biology. This diagram is very important. And let's talk about the brain diagram. What happened is that this question also came in board examination. But the only problem with this question was that instead of medulla oblongata, some were writing spinal cord. And I was really confused what to write. So an announcement was made later on that we'll be getting bonus marks whether we write medulla oblongata or spinal cord but i made up my mind to not attempt this question because i wanted to be on the safer side and also one day before the biology paper i asked many people what should i write everyone had different answers you must practice questions from 10 years icsc because there are questions which might be repeated in the board examination guys i'm doing a voiceover right now and i have cuff and i'm not able to speak clearly but things need to be going as i always say in my video this is to motivate you there will be time when life will seem very difficult and hard for you but there will always be that particular time when things will be easy for you just because of your friends family and everything you have been grateful for sorry to say but my classmates are really mischievous last time i want to say that there is no advantage in everything there is no such thing in this world which is disadvantageous or has no advantage your parents have provided you so much so you should be thankful to them and do something in return you only have one job to do and that is to study so you have to excel in that many of you have been saying that we were able to score good percentage just because a slavery was reduced but what happens is that your case is different than ours we cannot compare our case with yours and you cannot compare your case with ours like we had two semesters we were given six months for one no yeah seven months for first semester and hardly three to four months for second semester and the problem lies in that part where we have to solve the objective type it was way more difficult than subjective type and also you're trying to say that our slavery is reduced but 
have you ever thought that we studied online we had our online classes we did not study offline we literally had one to two weeks of offline classes and that's all so so you should not demotivate us by saying that we were able to score just because our syllabus was reduced so yeah that was all for the video guys hope you like it subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell i'll be back with more videos so stay tuned bye giveaway results in the next video so stay tuned